you PSC aspirants, welcome back to another learning video. So our first question is why only English literature as your optional? So basically when you move out, you see so many subjects in the market. You see subjects like history, geography, political science and whatnot. And you also see how these subjects have been commercialized in the market. But then when you look at English literature as an optional, you see that this subject has been completely sidelined, it has been completely silenced. Now how does that happen? Why do we think that English literature as an optional has been completely sidelined? I've been doing this real talk in my other set of videos as well. I'm going to continue with that in my today's video as well. Now let's assume this simple example. There is this student who makes up his mind finally to prepare for UPSC examination. Now he lands up in an institute. He is somehow convinced to join that institute. He not only starts preparing for pre-examination but also for mains examination from the same institute. Now let's also assume that this particular institute has let's say three professors or three mentors who teaches three respective optionals, let's say one who teaches history, another who teaches geography, third one who teaches political science, and fourth one who teaches whatsoever, right, like that. Now, this particular student ends up taking one of those optionals, by that I mean one of those optionals that the institute wants him to take, not what he wants to take. Maybe he wants to take up English literature as his optional or let's say Sanskrit or Hindi or any other subject like that. It happens as a result. The interest of the student is completely silent. I use the word is completely silenced. And the student ends up getting frustrated, ends up getting irritated because he doesn't get to do what he wanted to do. So I think it's high time that we start questioning what's being offered to us and what we want from ourselves and not what others want from us. So why must students take English literature as their option? Constantly repeated this in my other set of videos as well. Number one, if you genuinely love the subject. You know, so it's okay to be friends with one subject. But then it's put together a different thing when you know that you also love the subject. So that friendship element plus that love element is altogether, you know, very important to recognize that, you know, that that's your option. Number two, you know, if you think you possess the right ability to read and write, then this is your absolute option. So basically, if I have to simplify hows and whys of taking English literature as an option, and I'll draw this diagram for you. Step number one, you finally make up your mind, you finally decide that this is my optional, no matter what people say, I am going to take this as my optional. So you do not deviate, you make up your mind and you take English literature as your optional. A lot of students are not even able to cross that step. So step number one is really important. Step number two, you buy all the prescribed original texts. So your paper is divided into two parts, paper one and paper two, maybe all the novels, all the dramas. You buy all the prescribed texts. Step number three, you start reading your texts. So you do not read them for the sake of reading them, but then you're also trying to understand them simultaneously. Now that's very important. Step number four, you start writing your answers after you are done understanding your text. So your answer writing practice sessions basically forms the soul of the entire process. Step number five, you finally get your answers evaluated by an expert. So the idea of expert here is really, really essential. It's really important. So you have picked your kick. But your expert is going to evaluate the entire process for you. So who all are eligible? Now the idea here remains the same. But then here I'd like to mention one important thing. See, a lot of students love the idea of collecting books, buying books, and not really reading them. So we need that determination and passion within the students. That Also, you know, they say that, Reading is a very expensive hobby. 
it not only takes your time, money, but also your heart. So here, my recommendation is that you may want to hire an expert or a mentor for yourself who may help you in reading the prescribed text. That will, number one, help you understand the text in a much, much better fashion. Number two, it will also end up saving a lot of your time. Something that I preferably feel is very crucial for UPSC aspirants. Herein, I end my today's session. All the other important video links related to optional English literature are provided in the description box given below. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon in my other video.